Right, dun, 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 hello guys, dun, dun, hopefully dun, dun, dun. we are live. There's no one behind the camera right now, so we can't actually tell if we're live, but fingers crossed we are. I'm just gonna get you guys up on here. Uh, and then we can we can start today's show. Um, come on, are we live, are we live? Boom, 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 three, two, one. Yeah, suspense. Yes, we are live. Hey guys, hopefully we are live. We and are the microphone's live. working. Yeah. Bonus, just turn that off. Right, well, hello guys and welcome again to the Prop Dog Friday Live and thank you all for joining us as always. Right, so uh, we've got uh, a whole load of things here. Got a load of questions uh, that you guys have asked uh, us beforehand. Um, if you don't know, by the way, sometimes Jason asks beforehand for any questions you may have and then you'll we'll get a list of questions like that and we'll answer those as well as these questions although we are going to think about stop asking these questions because last week uh, if you were watching um, there were so many questions coming in live that we didn't have time to do many of these till later on so uh, we'll see how we go today uh, but if you haven't watched the show before um, we are here for you basically so if there's anything in the shop you want to see if you want to have a tour of the shop if you want to see the workshop anything you want to know about let us know if you want any advice on any tricks if you want to see what's inside a certain and box or if we can give a review on a certain trick which we can do some of the time but not all of the time because sometimes we don't know about the trick ourselves and we won't have time to show you but we'll we know a lot of the tricks here so we can give you uh, advice on probably about 50 percent of all the tricks we have yeah. here which is about two and a half thousand products quite a few so um we've got a few new products for them i think have we um we've got a couple of new things yes um we've had our our german orders finally arrived yeah so i had a whole box of new stuff but Huge we're not going to show you all in one go that would just be a waste so we're gonna you know feed them over to you over the next sort of three or four weeks um and uh yeah we'll see how we go let's get bobo out as well so, uh, come on come on out here she comes up, 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 up. So. Now she's really excited. I'm not sure if she's excited because we're doing the live show and she wants to see you all or whether she's excited because we've got a customer in the shop. Um, but there we go. Right, okay, what's first on the agenda? Um, well, we were going to talk about... Well, we've got lots of things we're going to... Uh Hopefully do some giveaways today, aren't we? Uh, is, yeah, we're going to give nice away... Uh, uh, randomly, I'm going to give some stuff away. I don't know why. I just want to give some stuff away we're to you feeling, guys. We're feeling generous. It's our way of saying thank you for always joining us. So, it's kind um, of our, our uh, Oh, wow. There's a whole load of people already joined us. So, uh, Otar says, hey, guys. Hello, Otar. If Hi, you don't Otar. know, Otar is our Swedish pyromaniac. Uh, I mean, sorry, R&D department for pyro... Technics in, yeah. uh, in Sweden. So hello, Arta. Uh, always good to have you joining us. Uh, Adrian Pritchard, yo. Halloween, Arta. Uh, Andrew Vaughan says hello. Um, Otta says both sound and images are okay. So what did you say, Jace? I said about Halloween, Otta's is good. Oh yes. Imagine that. <laughs> Those poor kids. Here's a pumpkin. The front door. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jake Allen says afternoon. Chris Kelly, happy 1st of November. Oh, happy Halloween for yesterday, by the way, everybody. Um, I hope you're all out trick or treating. Um, uh, Michael Cooley says hello, Colin Skiller, hello, Peter Burkett, good afternoon guys, Danny Marsh says hi guys, Brian Robson, uh, sup people are walking home from lovely Swansea, liquid sunshine, uh, my family's from Swansea, um, Brian, so uh, well, Bishopston to be exact, but uh, I spent many, many years in uh, in and around Swansea and Bishopston and Mumbles and Pennard in that area, oh, and the doorbell's going, um, Alex, so we, we have an Alex downstairs, and Bobo, our guard dog's very excited, what are you doing Bobo? Come Alex, come on. Oh, he's not there. Come on. I'll go get the door. You, you can get the door. Right, I'm going to talk. I'm going to do some. Uh, I'm going to do a question. Um, let's have a look. So we had. Oh, Scott. Crikey, all right. All right, chill out. Chill out. Uh, Scott. Pe we, we've lost. I mean, it's comic. It's comic right, genius, though, right? It's comic right. genius. It's the doorbell. Every time I delivery, talk, she squeaks. It's yeah, brilliant. where's Alex gone? Alex is meant to be delivering. Huh? Alex is uh, meant to be downstairs. What's going on? Vink. Ooh, exciting. Do you guys want to see what we've got? I have no idea. Well, yeah, keep it's not going to be. Uh, uh, is it going to be exciting? Possibly. Okay, possibly. We get some cool uh, deliveries. First of all, Scott Perry says doglets is uh, better than prop doggers. And he says, see us at four with a thumbs up emoji. And Katie Hall, I don't believe this is true, Katie, at all, but she said, uh, Scott Perry, you're ruining my reputation. That's taken me years to drag down into the gutter. Being called a dogger is like an honour for me. <laughs> so each to their own. Um, uh, well, if anyone, anyone wants to be called yeah. a dogger, then yeah. We'll see you in the car park later. Um, Adrian has said... Uh, I think they should be our puppies, our prop puppies. Our prop puppies, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just try and mix it up because it's the same thing every week, otherwise. Uh, oh. So exciting! 
Well, exciting for me, you wouldn't like it. What is it? It's acrylic mirror. It's gonna be, <laughs> I thought it was a shelf or something. It's acrylic mirror, there you go. Right, okay, that's for making, uh, we're, we're, well, not making, we're refurbishing a, uh, a neck twister illusion and that goes on the inside, so, uh, uh, right. Brilliant, Where were we? great, we yeah, were just talking about Adrian. Uh, Adrian Tritton said, if we could dem one product for the rest of our career, what would it be? I mean, we've got Ooh. some time to think about it now, at least, because we've answered it early. To dem one product. What do See, I like doing? This is difficult for me because I love doing my ring flight, and it's kind of you know I, I will dem that all day long. In fact, I do dem all day long. Um, yeah. I like my stretch thumb tip. I love to dem the stretch thumb tip uh, mm. and my sugar routine. But um, do you know what? I think I would actually do my stretch thumb tip. So those of you guys that watched last week, my oh, stretch thumb so tip with the vanishing the sharpie, I'll probably dem that because it's quick, it's easy, it takes up no pocket space, and it never fails to get wow by whoever's watching. So that's yeah. my answer. I I love I love the vanishing handkerchief. That's, Where are you going, Bobo? That's just brilliant, what are you isn't doing? it? You're I mean, for place. someone for someone that demonstrated that for eight years solid, nearly in Hamleys, I still uh, like doing um, yeah. a hanky yeah. vanish. Come on, that's not relaxing. not so much dynamic coins and spends. But, um, <laughs> dynamic coins, oh, horrible to do. Yeah, one, I thought, right? I, uh, I love I love I love a thumb uh, thumb tip vanish. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay. Um, cool. Have we got any questions on uh, the uh, right? Danny Marsh says hi, guys. Um, um, <laughs> What are you doing, Bobes? What are you doing? You're all over the place today. Come on. Oh, go and see that spinny thing. What is that? This, this is cool. Hang on, let me bring the camera in. This This is, um, uh, well, they call it a flying dragon. That sounded scripted, that, but I just no, 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 didn't no, no, know no, what no, that no. was. It's, it's, <laughs> they call it a flying dragon. It's very cool. It's just some forks. And the idea is it's kind of this thing over here, look. Yeah. This is meant to represent a, a kind of a Chinese dragon. Right. Uh, I got this years ago. It's been an ornament on the shelf there. How is it staying on there? Uh, it just balances it. Yeah, just it, it that is great, off, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they were just on the shelves, but you can see the shelves over there are all empty. We were uh, just cleaning off the shelves and uh, that was lying around. I just thought it would be a rather cool little talking piece to have yeah. on the live show there. Um, and, and it proved to be. Yeah, what yeah, was that thing cool. you had on the shelf when I first came in it with, uh, with my now wife and I knocked it off? It was balancing. It was something Oh, that was <laughs> right. So that was the um, illusionist bought out. Um, uh, it was a levitating card box. That was it. Um, and that it, was it. The, the base was made into, um, it was uh, one of the books, what was it, uh, Expert the Card Table book, and then you had a deck of cards that was rotating above it. And we used to just kind of take the cards off and hover different items on it, and yeah, that's what happened. You came in one day and knocked yeah, it off. Yeah, just knocked it off, and it was... Yeah. Magnetically attaches. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was disrupted fun. it. Right, uh, Jake Allen, Bobo is still enjoying the new pots. Bobo. Uh, where is she? Shoes. Bobo, pack it in. <laughs> Customer's in the shop, she's just chewing shoelaces, so. Bobo's going to be in a cage very soon if she doesn't behave. Um, Hans says, good afternoon from Sweden. Uh, Hi, hello, Hans. our second customer from Sweden. Uh, Danny Crook, greetings from, uh, or oh, greetings Wonder Workers. Um, are we Wonder Workers? Wonder Workers? I used to be a Wonder Worker, but I'm not really working now. I work hard here, but I'm not really so much a worker anymore. I've given up my working days. It's Wonder Worker um, a term? Well, a worker is a term, isn't Oh, right, it? okay. I just, worker, I just wondered if there was a... You go out and you work. No, I realised that. I wondered if there was actually a, such a thing as a wonder worker, as in someone that's literally working all the time. I don't, don't know. I... Maybe, maybe somebody uses Wonder Pop a lot. Yeah, so, maybe. Uh, yeah. maybe. Oh, great yeah. news, by the way. Everyone's been asking about Wonder Pop when we're getting it back in. Murphy's a supplier. have been out for quite some time. But good news, uh, I had an email about uh, 10 minutes ago. Well, there's a Facebook message from G Magic, and we're going to be getting some more in very soon. So uh, it will be available. And uh, as usual, we will pimp it all out and do all the, uh, the extra work with it ourselves before we sell it to you guys. Such a great um, Michael Brimmer, good afternoon. Like the 007 video, got great reactions. Yes, wasn't it great? So, um, yeah, uh, Steve Short came in and he had a load of these and we liked the idea and we thought, well, we'll, uh, we'll get them in. And um, uh, we decided we needed a quick video of it. Uh, and because we all knew what was going to go on, we popped across the road to one of the other units, which is a, um, a, a gas place. They, they do gas pipes and fittings and stuff. A load of guys there, they popped across there. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. They are pretty much the perfect, perfect audience. Yeah, it's like a David Blaine audience, you know, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Especially Jack. Yeah. It's like Hi, David Jack. from L&L, &L. you know, they're all going mad for it. So, um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, we had 15 of them and they sold out in 24 hours. So, uh, yeah, got, the trick's been out a while. The but, yeah, we've got some more coming in. The trick's been out for ages. It's a, a cheap chip, 12 99 but it's a great little, you know, carry around trick and it worked well. 
Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant card reveal. Okay, Steve, Gerard. Steve's demo is brilliant as well. Yeah, Steve, Steve's a great performer. He's, yeah, a, he's really a true good. entertainer. He's been doing it many, many years. So let me put Bobo, Bobo. away because he's just being a pain. Right, trouble. Cheers. I'm going to do another question on the sheet because I can't see him on the screen. Um, yeah, you go Otter has asked, any chance for a demo of the Whom deck? Trying to work out what age range it will be suitable for. Happy Halloween, by the way. Whom? Um, the Whom okay. deck is... Well, I've never even heard of the Whom deck. What the Whom deck? deck is this, yeah. or these. Where's Alex? It's two little mini packs of... We discussed this briefly when, you came, when they came in. They are oh, guess that's the, who the cards. different faces on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. okay. So yeah, they are yeah, guess yeah, who yeah, cards. Yeah. So in answer to our first question, I mean, the best answer I can give you is Illusionist are so proud of this uh, on their website. If you go to Illusionist's webpage, the Whom Deck page, there is an open instructional video for you because they want to show you how it works before you buy it. So if you want to know exactly what it is, go and visit Illusionist. Um, but basically what these are, you get two of them, they're identical. They are miniature Guess Who cards. They look exactly like the kind of cards that you'd have in a game of Guess Who, and that's the point. It's supposed to look like something impromptu that you've just taken from a board game and now you're doing magic with. Right. In answer to your question, Otter, it's not necessarily, I mean, it's not aimed at children at all. It's basically you're going to play a mental game of Guess Who. So you almost go through your mind flicking people down, you know, as you do in the game. Has it got glasses? No. I think you're lying. Okay, we're going to flick all these people down. And then you end up knowing uh, who their character is and all of their characteristics on the card they've chosen. So, okay. yeah, it's a great, it's a nice little impromptu thing. But again, Illusionists have been completely transparent about what it is by putting the instructions on their website. There you go. That you can watch before buying right. it. So, the okay. deck. Right, Scott Perry says, does anyone know the name of the magic course in the UK that helps improve dexterity for disabled children? I've been trying to search, but I can't remember the name. I think, Scott, it's the guys who sent us this. Uh, I will give you a, a message after we leave here, so if it's the same guys I'm thinking of. Uh, Nigel Quinn, who was in the shop the other day, yes. um, he says, uh, afternoon, Dave Jason. Uh, he doesn't say cash, so he doesn't like you. He does talk uh, about cash on the <laughs> No, he, actually, he does on here, he does oh, on here, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gone, ah, it's gone, that's it. Um, well, we, they're, they're disappearing, I can't read them fast enough, so don't read any of those yet. We're losing the uh, we're losing them up here. So well, Nigel uh, has written into here as yeah, well. Yeah, well, so. Nigel, it's gone up now, and I've lost it. Oh, got to go quickly because I'm losing them. Right, okay. Peter Burkett says hello, Bo. But this is ridiculous. How come it disappears? We, it's so annoying. Okay, Andy uh, Tigley, big thank you to Milan for helping me via email. Uh, to Mila, I think he means. Um, <laughs> oh, Milan uh, is the new uh, name. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Barry Green says howdy. Sean Max says good afternoon, fellows. Andy, sorry, Charlie Robinson watching uh, whilst doing my A level English at home. Study, Charlie. Do not watch magic. Study. It's more important than this. Uh, Nigel Quinn. Uh, oh, giveaways. Got my eye on a mug. Okay. Matty Evans, afternoon, fellows. Mert James, have you uh, the mini pyro in stock? Pyro Mini, uh, yeah, it's I think at the back. Uh, yes, the we back. do. Uh, yeah, so we do. Um, uh, it should be on the website. We got, there was one well. left, Cash. Is it still up there? If ever you're in doubt, guys, have a look on the website and it will oh, tell you exactly how many of each product we have in stock. It's usually right, but although sometimes things go missing in the shop or it's on the top of the back wall, it's, it's in a white box. Right, Michael Cooley, can you show us the hide and seek by Tommy James? Can we do hide and seek? Um, potentially, yes. I need to set it up. Is that I one we we're going to do this week or not? Uh, not necessarily. Okay, I mean, we, we can do that. it. It might right. be easier to do it next week. Well, I week. need to catch up with these quickly because they're disappearing and I'm losing everything. They're going really quickly, so uh, we're losing these. I hate this system that Facebook has. Why is it they... We'll do it next week. That's just so frustrating. They just disappear off my screen. I can't get them back. Uh, let's try and reduce the size of everything. No, it's not working very much. Let me write hide and seek down. Who was that for? Yeah. Uh, um, Michael Adam. Crawley. Oh, yeah. Michael. Right, let me just go back on here. Uh, right, uh, Danny Marsh, guys, I presume Pin Card Reborn is an update, but I'm not aware of the original. Uh, any thoughts if you know the effect? Um, well, I need to find out how to stop this damn thing. If anybody on there knows about live videos and when they're scrolling up really fast, if there's a way we can kind of pause it so they don't keep scrolling up, they're going again now, it keeps going up automatically. Uh, when you guys send new comments, so it's 61 comments on there. So right, if I'm if I don't, if I miss your comments, guys, repost them again because they're scrolling up too fast for me to see now. So uh, right, uh, pink card reborn. Any ideas? Never heard of it. No. Okay. Uh, Otto, I love Halloween. Three years ago, I hid in my mum's garden with a hockey mask and a flamethrower to surprise her. Wait, <laughs> to surprise her. Brilliant. Doesn't surprise me Brilliant. at all. Uh, Alice De Bruyne, hi from uh, hi from Alice. Uh, and thanks to Jason for his help and correspondence this week. You're welcome. Uh, Nigel Quinn, shout out to Alex too. Hope uh, his multiplying bottles are multiplying. We don't know where Alex is. He's gone missing at the moment. He's 
Uh, maybe he's good. on the toilet. Uh, Richard Parsons, hello mate, he's just joined us. Uh, Gerald says, hi guys, thanks for the gifts you included in my order. More power, you're most welcome. Uh, Darren Snellgoss says, hi guys. Gerald, Gerald says, uh, is there any chance you can do a demo of Brainwave, a trick using Phoenix Double Decker, aside from Get Sharky's Destiny? Not straight away, Gerald. Um, it drops an email to remind us and we'll we'll do it next week because a lot of these things we... Uh, we'll have to look at. Yeah, we'll have to look at and learn how to use. We don't know how to use all the stuff on there. Um, uh, one day, hopefully, I'll have enough staff to be able to demo anything in the shop, but uh, until then, no chance. Uh, Frankie Valenti, uh, Frank says hello um, from Florida, I guess, uh, as normal. Uh, Magic Stevens, where is Cash? Hi. Cash is now behind the camera. There you go. Um, <laughs> took Cash, time is back. On that one. Oh, Cash. Cash is back. Come on, do you do think, Cash? Do your creepy little thing. Uh, that is weird, creepy, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Andy Tigley just bought that thumb tip today. Good on you, Andy. Bad time. <laughs> Everyone should need a thumb tip. Sean Mack, I use a stretch thumb tip. It's nuts. Thank you, Sean. Um, it is. Yes, indeed. Uh, Richard space. Parsons, thank you for the custom Omni deck. It was perfect. Great. You're most welcome. Thank you, uh, Richard. Um, uh, Robert Van Buren says hello. Uh, Marco Galeso, how much is a stretch thumb tip? It's eight pound ninety. Eight pound ninety nine. There he is. Every time That's he does a delay, that. Isn't it? That's Sorry, there's, oh, a delay, seconds, there's a three. long delay. There's a long delay between what you guys are seeing and what I'm reading. Uh, so I, we just, I'm reading this, and Cash's head just pops up on front of the camera, and goes down again. He did that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it does make you laugh. Uh, right. Um, <laughs> you don't get this on Alakazam, do you? Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen, yeah. from Mark Jakes. Uh, Jack, sorry. Uh, Jonas says, uh, a bit late, uh, the dog needed walking, but hello from Sweden. That's three people in Sweden three now. We are, Sweden. we are taking over Sweden. Goodness <laughs> me. Um, uh, I haven't liked any of these. I have to like them later on. So, Brian Robson, um, uh, I work with Wonder Workers, um, as in I wonder uh, if they're going to do some damn work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't I know that? Well, oh, hold on. Uh, That's uh, cruel. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I have been off this week, so, um, <laughs> yeah, fair enough, I'll take it. Uh, take it. Robert Van Buren, what is that spinning around? You missed it, Robert. This is um, our little um, uh, spinning dragon thingy. Uh, I got it about 10 years ago. I can't remember. It was from some little um, puzzly uh, place on the internet. Very I, I cool. really liked it. Yeah, it's been an ornament on the sh shelf for, for years. Anyone who comes in the shop will see it. Um, but I just thought I'd bring it out today. Just, it's, a, it's, a, it's very it's a, cool. It's a talky PC. Um, Jake Allen, what is your views on visualize, uh, visualize, visualize, oh, visualize gas system? That's okay, the Jake, uh, it is. Well, I don't think I talked about this last week. It is brilliant. You did I mean, briefly, yeah, we did. Yeah, anyone who's it. who's become really good at flourishing, um, the way actually at flourishing is like a juggling with cards, and it's all pretty much a one-way thing. But with the visually system. It's insane. It becomes juggling with magic, but more interactive as well, because you can just do the most insane things that turn the regular flourishing into utter magic. Uh, really, really good. Yeah, it, I think it's going to be a big new thing in magic. I think it's going to be... It's very cool. It's, it's going to catch on. There's going to be a lot more things to come with that, I think. So uh, Cameron Walsh says, afternoon, guys. Um, Andy Tigley, Mila. Yes, uh, <laughs> we got that one. Michael Cooley, can you show us uh, Hide and Seek by Tommy James? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There we oh go. My God, That's it. Like oh, you that. mean the real one? Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll um, do it. We will do it for you next week, Michael, because I, I played with it once and. Um, yeah. Right. Like, let's, let's write it down. So, oh, you have it written down. Yeah, okay, written down. Cool. Uh, awesome. Uh, Nigel Quinn. It's great. Uh, it's it is Breathe Magic. Really yes, thank you, Nigel. That's what it was. Um, that is um, uh, the, uh, the the charity organisation that um, helps out the, the, the kids. So, yeah, yeah. Breathe. Um, we've done a few uh, stuff for them. So. Uh, very good. Right, Andrew Tiggly Tingly. Uh, free giveaways. Uh, what will we do with Scams Mind stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to give away yet, and I don't know how I'm going to give it away, but we'll catch up with all the questions and then we'll give some shit away. So, um, Andrew Tunney says, hello guys. Uh, Magic Stevens, did Cash learn Ace? He was going to take it home and learn it. Yes, he did. Uh, and did Cash, Cash learn Not yet, Ace. Cash, not yet. Let me catch up with these questions. If I don't catch up, they're going to disappear and I'll miss everyone's comments. So um, we'll do that in a second. I uh, just need to get through these comments first of all. Did Stop he asking learn questions Ace? and then we'll catch up and we can do something. Um, we will see. Nigel Quinn, a visual matrix with Rose demo. Um, uh, Rose, visual matrix uh, with Rose demo. Oh, is this the Rose? This is... Rose, the the AGT, is he talking about the AGT thing with the petals and the? Oh right, oh yeah, 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 yeah. is that what he's talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, winky fairness, face. Yeah, I've just seen the winky face. Now, in fairness, yeah, yeah, yeah. it has just yeah. been released uh, f from our supplier. Three hundred dollars. So Three hundred dollars. It's a vanishing ink on Murphy's because I saw it in a vanishing ink. Murphy's. It's on Murphy's. It's on Murphy's. So they've got two hundred copies giving away. They said that's all, but there'll be more. Um, and this is one of these things where you're not going to get away with it with somebody. Else. Where you been? I'm busy. 
We've been looking everywhere for you. That's the doorbell's been ringing. We've been trying to get a hold of you. There's all kind of, Where have you been? Yeah. What were you saying about the staff? Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's just taking that mask. Off. Okay. Right. right. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, that that road system is it's insane. Um, but Absolutely. Yeah. So. It's it's a typical Sans Minds product, and you can't do it live. You can only do it in front of a camera, or or somebody standing the other end of the theatre. Um, but yeah, very very good. Uh, very clever. I mean, I'm, I'm more interested in the mechanics behind it than anything else. So Hans Sundstrom, good afternoon from... Sweden! Again! Again! <laughs> Send us some meatballs. I like a good sweet meat. Uh, I'll have to learn some Swedish now. Um, I did learn some Swedish once. I'm probably going to say this wrong, but do you say Veldet Rådot? What does You're that mean? You're looking very red, I think. No, You're looking I, I very probably, red? Yeah, I think I, 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 that's probably very, very wrong. But it's a strange yeah, phrase for you to learn, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Why? I said, it, I said it to a, a, a lady about... 30 years ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Um, Simon, uh, why do you, uh, why do I have to buy extra if I buy the world's most dangerous car trip to Belgium and Europe? Do I, sorry, do I have to buy, uh, pay extra if I buy Ooh. a world, yeah, you mean the world's most dangerous yes, to Belgium. Um, Ask us after Brexit. Right. The moment um, it's free shipping anywhere in the world over £50, after Brexit it'll still be free shipping anywhere in the world after £50, but it means you'll pay less for it because you won't have to pay import duties and tax and, and we might forget to put the correct amount on the customs invoice. So yep. yeah, uh, after Brexit it'll be cheaper, but at the moment you don't have to pay any extra at all. No, there's nothing. There's no, um, weight, yeah. there's no weight problems with it or anything like that. So Matty Evans says, I love the principle of hook uh, trick uh, and you can see how great this will play to an audience. Um, from a dangerous aspect but when you pull the hook out at the end does it look like the string is attached to the hook right okay matty so a few this people is matty have asked and this. a few others yeah yeah so okay we cover so yeah here. hook is a great <coughs> trick hook is all about the suspension when they're going to pull it when you pull the hook out there is a bit of an anti-climax because it's then over and, and uh, it's gone <laughs> and you've not been garroted yeah you're not being garroted <laughs> um and the video trailer is a little bit naughty in the way they show you the hook when you pull it out of the mouth it isn't quite like that but I've now done this about 20 or 30 times and not once pulling that hook out my mouth has anyone asked to look at the hook or look closely at right. it. You just pull it out, you show them, and that's it, it's all over. And it's all about the tension you build up during the trick. It's, it's kind of like most tricks will have uh, a climax at the end. This isn't, this is the climax in the middle. It's all about the suspension afterwards. When you bring it out, you're like, yeah, you make your own little climax and you put it down. Right, okay, who wants to see something less dangerous and move straight on? But yeah, and all the times I've done it, no one has asked, has asked to look at it. And all the feedback I've got from a ton of other people is they've had the same thing. Maybe like one in 20 or 30 people have asked to look at it. But you just kind of show it like that. If you hold it in the right way, it looks exactly like it's tied onto it. So uh, yeah, don't worry about that, Matt. It I is a great trick. always felt that the reason why people don't tend to ask about the hook at the end is simply because they're so busy concentrating on pulling that string out, making sure they're getting the right one, and they're that crap scared of maiming you mm. that once it's all over, they've just kind of taken a moment to relax. Yeah, That's yeah why I, mean, I feel yeah. like no one's ever bothered. Again, if, yeah. if you watch our hook video of the guys in the in the shop that we filmed the same day we did Steve's pen, it's on YouTube and Facebook. They're almost yeah. backing away. Yeah. They're oh, yeah. almost pushing each other in the way of being the next person to be chosen. They, they, they asked about it constantly afterwards and they, they've talked about it quite a bit since. So yeah, it, it does what it says. It's expensive for what it is. When you open, open it and you look at it, you go, really, I paid that much for this much for what you're getting? Because in theory, all you're getting is string and a hook and a tin. But what you're paying for is the routine, all the work that's gone into it, all the prototyping, the thousands yeah. of goes he's got to get it right. Making sure it's safe. Working out which string to use exactly right and how to, how to put it all together. And you're paying for his, his work, his routines. So some, you know, quite often you'll pay a lot of money for a routine because somebody doesn't want every man and his dog doing it. So they, they charge a bit extra for on it. On that so. subject, Davis West has asked, would, do you think it's a better presentation to come out with just to walk on stage with six strings hanging out for how many strings hanging out of your mouth? Or is it better to actually show the hook and then insert it into your mouth? What do you think? I do. Because I quite like the idea of having six strings just. No, because they don't know what's in your mouth. And the whole idea of the trick, as I said, is about the suspense before yeah, you pull they it know out. The it's danger. all about that much danger. Yeah. It, otherwise, they're just going, oh, boom, boom, boom. And then you pull it out and they go, oh, there was oh, a hook God. on it. That was yeah, amazing. Yeah, 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 whatever. But no, you get a much stronger reaction because <clears> the yeah. first one is like, oh, it might hurt him. The second one is like, this really could hurt him. And then you had a 50-50 choice and that's mm. when the pressure's on. It's like, oh, well, which one? One of them could really hurt him. The pressure's on me and that's where the whole suspense builds up. Yeah. So that's my handling. But play around, you know, you might have a handling and a routine that works for you doing that. You might have another set of lines that goes with it. You might have something else or yeah. you, know, you could end up with a whole load of hooks and, 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 and do some kind of thing where you eliminate certain hooks and then you put one in your mouth. That's a good idea. Any one of a number that's of That's a really things, good idea. Yeah. 
you can have a goldfish already attached to the hook in your mouth, and when you pull it out, there's a goldfish on it. There's we all so we all things. think like magician yeah. as well, don't we? When you know those yeah. guys did not care about that; they just cared that there was a hook in yeah. his mouth, well, and they were pulling. Look, look at the 007 pen, right? The 007 pulling. pen is a simple little pen like that, and, and as a magician, I look at it and go, "Oh, that's all right." Yeah, a couple of lay people in it. They went mad for it. They went mad. So yeah, don't yeah. judge it as a magician. Judge it as a lay person. Cool. Right. Not these. Let's cut. No, that's covered a few of them. Right. Oh, Simon's joined. Hello, Simon. How are you, mate? Simon Hill. Um, Simon used to work here, by the way. Uh, Gerald says, um, or Gerald says, uh, how do you? Uh, how about the the brainwave, uh, Dave? Is there any chance you can show now? Um, I, I don't personally do brainwave. Um, I mean, I know the principle behind it, but it wouldn't be very good. I mean, there's no really need to see a demo of that. It's, it's one of the most popular tricks out there. It's all over the internet. Um, and, and watch somebody good do it. If, if I do it, I've, I've got to well, I mark the cards in such a way that I, I would be able to go straight to the card and do it. You don't need a demo of that. Um, uh, unless any of you guys perform it on a regular basis. No. Nope. Um, yeah, so... Uh, right, uh, Gerald from Norway. Uh, so Gerald's in Norway now. So we've got Sweden, we've got Norway. Uh, anyone from Denmark watching? Uh, Mark, uh, Mark Will Jakes says, uh, "Have I missed magic yet? Not yet. We're we're just going for the questions and then we'll get onto the magic." So Brian Robson, be right back. Uh, Michael Cooley, uh, is that normal wand or is it a trick wand on the table? What? Oh, ah, it's just the normal wand, I think. Just the wand. Yeah, yeah, just normal wand. So he's going to do um, some magic with it. Can you make anything yeah, vanish? Yeah, but um, go and do some magic with that around the corner. Um, right, go on, okay. go do some magic. Yep. Uh, Nigel, um, Nigel Quinn says, Thank you, Dave, for the excellent service this week. Uh, this from Dave Cash and love to Bobo too. Hide Shattuck shot is excellent. Thank you, Nigel. I knew you'd ask something, but it scrolled up so quick we missed it. So, uh, yeah, Nigel was in the shop. He, uh, he hung around pretty much all day and sort of chilled out in the shop as, uh, as many do. And yeah, we had a good time. We showed him loads of stuff. He, uh, enjoyed Bobo's company, had a tour of the workshop, and we had a good chat, didn't we, Nigel? So, uh, yeah, thank you for popping in. Uh, Matt Wainwright, hello buddy, I hope you're well. Uh, Jonas uh, says, uh, any good source for jumbo card manipulation? Yeah, I believe we do. We have a DVD on it, I think. Uh, that's by, uh, what's his name? He visited the shop. Um, I forget his name. He did all the black art, um, uh, you know, the black art felt we do. Um, ah, I forget his name. He was in the shop. Um, him and Henry were getting on like a, a house on fire because Henry's into all the manip and stuff. So look under the manipulation section. Um, and on there, I'm pretty sure we got a, a DVD on jumbo carb and nips. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to you on that one very shortly, Jonas, uh, but I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, Danny Marsh, fire wallets, do you love or hate them? I don't like fire wallets performed by lay people thinking they do magic. I don't like people who, um, who, who make silly uh, sort of, you know, gags for them. I think if you use a fire wallet properly in the right situation as a comedy effect, I, I think it can be really, really good. Um, but yeah, I, I hate just people running up to the bar and going, oh, and, and, and doing it and, yeah. Uh, hmm. Found it? Got a general card manipulation. No, one, one of them uh, has, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, I can't know which one it is. We're, we'll keep, we're carrying on looking, um, Jonas. Uh, Ooh, who didn't take the phone off the hook? Cash. I tried right. earlier. Yeah, answer it and take the hook. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, can we see a uh, hook and is it safe and worth the money? Um, if, Adam, if you watched last week's live, I do a live performance of it. If you go onto Facebook, you'll see another live performance of it as well. Uh, I did somewhere different. Uh, we haven't got one at the moment that's opened. Uh, the one I have is down at home. Uh, and to see it, all you're going to see is uh, basically a hook and um, some bits of string. So yeah, watch last week's one or, or pop onto uh, uh, Facebook. So uh, and Charlie Robinson says PM me. Uh, right, any quick magic tricks you can you can sh you can show you show use any quick magic tricks you can show use. Uh, what do you mean, Mark? Um, we're going to be doing some tricks in a minute. If that's what you're on about. Uh, Scott Perry, thank you, Nigel. Uh, couldn't remember uh, for the life of me. So uh, yeah, that's replying about uh, the um, the charity that helps the kids. Uh, Otter says love, um, <laughs> love to you back, Otter. Uh, ah, Valdicroda, very red. Thank you, uh, Otter. I'll try to remember that in 17 years' time when I need it again. Uh, from Turnip here. Turn up here. Uh, right, Andrew Wayne Evans, when's the prize giving away? As soon as I've got through these questions, we'll give some stuff away and do some magic. But I've got to get through the questions first or they disappear. Uh, Dean Dugan uh, says, Hi, gents, best tournament restored for a beginner. Thank you. Best tournament restored has got to be. Um, 
uh, Blake Voigt's Regeneration. Uh, the simplest one in the world. You can literally buy it here, go home, perform it like an expert in the evening. It's brilliant as well. If I could only ever do one trick for the rest of my life, I may well just do that one. In fact, uh, somebody said about deming a trick for the rest of your life. Stretch dumb tip is what I said, but I probably also think very closely about regeneration. Absolutely brilliant. Watch the video. What you see in the video is generally what you happen. It's so clean. You sign a card, you tore a terror corner off, you destroy it, eat it, whatever you want, put it back in your mouth or just in your hand. You can restore it with the signature back on, given away 100% example of Brilliant. So regeneration, check it out. It's a little pricey. It works out about three pounds per, per performance. Uh, so save it for the top table, but utterly brilliant. Talking of uh, Blake, we have his mini six outs in. There's six of them in. We were asked about it last week. Oh, okay. Right, thank it's brilliant. you. Brilliant. Looks yeah. really good. Watch the video. Is it off the hook, is it? Uh, yes. Yes. Is that one, buddy? Uh, yep. Do we do currently do? have manipulation cards for jumbo cards. We don't have uh, DVDs available just yet. Okay, right. Uh, but we'll look into that and get something done. So um, uh, am I going to be doing a trick with this? Yeah. Um, right, okay. Uh, am Make I gonna, it vanish. Am I going to be doing it now? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't need your hanky. Have you got your own? No, yeah, I've got my own. Well, you've had a got in my top pocket. There we go. Oh, well yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. good. Cool. Right, so... Um, I'm going to try and make this vanish. Okay. Vanish. 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 It's not very good, mate. Vanish. How'd you do this? Let James have a try. You've got to hit it. There we go. You've got to hit it. You've got to uh, just give it a. Um... Ooh, oh, I hit oh, it. Oh, I see. Oh. <gasps> and that's Asian parents. <gasps> <laughs> wow. I'll You've get it. It's, it. it's down here. Yeah. No, it's not. No. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. No, 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 no. We can see it on the camera. Hang on. Wait, wait one minute, guys. We're just going to see what this looks like on the camera. Because we've got a delay here. So, uh, here's my terrible performance of it. I can do it again for you as well. Yeah, go on. Do it again. Do it again for the lay people. But I, I think I should do it this time. I, I, I should. There you go. Do you want to go? I, I, I think I should do this. There we go. There you go. Are you ready? One, two, Whoa! Boom. Oh, that was good. There. That was swishy. And believe it or not, that's actually the first time I've ever done that. Yeah. So sometimes you can buy a trick and perform it instantly like a professional. Hashtag cafe. Mm. <laughs> 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 there you go. What's that called, Jason? This is oh, our. Oh, show, show, show them what they are. This is our flash show, vanish. It's show them the back. difference. Right, where do we get them from? This is from Germany. This is our ho new wholesaler in Germany. Now, these have been out around for years. I've seen these for years, but we never actually stopped them. So but I how, asked, good, how good is that? Well, I asked Jason to get some cool stuff in, and, and that is pretty cool. But how well so, made is it? Because that is beautiful. This one is beautiful. So it's, it is metal. The it's, whole thing is metal. It's wonderfully made. I mean, uh, let's come close to the camera. It is beautifully made. It's the weight that surprised me. It's yeah, probably it's a beautiful what, weight. 300, uh, weight. No, 300 grams, 400 so grams. See what they're seeing. So there we are. See, it's beautifully made. Look, lovely there. And see that beautiful little cap on the end that twists off and screws. Very, very well made. And the other one is uh, the plastic version, the cheaper version. Yeah, which is basically half price. So, there we are. That's of the, the, uh, uh, the plastic version over there. Still lovely. Yeah, there you go. Still very nice. Right, tell them all about it, Jason. So it's called Flash Vanish. Um, this we got in initially with our uh, first wholesale order from Germany, and we only got one in because they had low stock. So we sold that one within five minutes uh, to the first person I showed it to. This is, in my opinion, the best way to vanish a hanky on stage. Um, I use this in my children's show. It is a brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. It's, yeah, I mean, it's almost flawless. It, it works every time. If it doesn't work every time, it's down to you. It's not down to the wand, um, but it's great. You can even throw the handkerchief up, hit it while it's in midair, and it completely disappears. The meta one is, as Dave said, solid. Um, I need to check the prices of these. I think this one's around fifty pounds. I think. Sorry, I've just knocked your dragon over. I think this one is twenty, isn't it? Hmm? It's twenty, isn't it? The, the plastic yeah, one. Plastic, one. yeah. plastic one's going to be around twenty, and this one's obviously more expensive than the metal 60. one. Yeah, sixty. Is it 60? Yeah, sixty for those. Cool. Well, Fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, but we've got um, twelve of these in. We've already got one of the plastics, but we will be getting more uh, when they're available. But it is. Are they on the website wicked. yet? Uh, the plastic one, no. The flash vanish, yes. Okay, there we go. We've only got one of the plastic there, haven't we? Yes. Because we weren't sure the quality was going to be any good. going to go and yeah. check the site quickly. Actually. Right, Andy sure. Tigley says, can a hook go wrong? Um, if not it's... if you prepare it right. So when you when you watch instructions, well, first of all, watch instructions. If you don't watch instructions, then yeah, it can go wrong. When you watch instructions, it teaches you everything you need to do to set it up. If it's set up correctly, it's impossible to go wrong. 
absolutely impossible. What it could go wrong is if you don't set it up properly and you don't kind of test things before you put it in your mouth and you're ready to go. So they give you a great little tin. We haven't got one here, but there's a, a great little tin it all fits into. You set it all up, test it all out, put it in the tin, then you can open the tin, go straight out and perform it. And when you're ready, reset it. Just give a little test before, make sure everything's working right and then go. And in which case it can't go wrong. So, um, and the hook, by the way, the hooks you put in your mouth, although they're fishing hooks, real fishing hooks, they do trim the ends off, so they're not quite as sharp as real fishing hooks. I mean, a real fishing hook will pierce your skin like that, no problem. These ones are purposely blunted, so it would have a hard job pulling you going through. I mean, what would happen if it was to go wrong in any way? It would more like pull your lip and pull out like that, and then actually graze all your lip on the inside rather than going through your lip. Um, but yeah, as long as you watch instructions set up beforehand, there's no chance of it going wrong. Um, just don't super glue the uh, the 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 string to the to the. I mean, if I get it right, I'm sure anybody else can get it right. Good point, Cash. <laughs> right, uh, Stephen Levering. Good afternoon, Stephen. I hope you are well. Um, Brian Robson. Woo, back in time for magic. Yay! Uh, more sure. magic coming soon. Nigel Quinn. Thanks again for Spectro Touch Tips. You're most welcome. And uh, yeah, don't forget <coughs> that tape to, uh, to use that tape, Nigel. Um, Andrew Tickley just ordered Flip Cup 2 with the grandkids. Is it uh, an okay trick? Laugh out loud. I haven't actually seen uh, Flip Cup yet, but I've heard it's very good. Scott Farrington. Hi, guys. Happy Friday, and we'll hopefully be in next week. I'll be good to see you again. Scott, it's been a while. Um, need uh, a good affordable chop cup, uh, maybe the Nun and Sponge Ding Dong. Ah, that's coming up to Christmas, I can see why. Uh, but yeah, we can certainly help you out with that, Scott, no problem at all. Uh, Michael Brimmer uh, says, the 007 pen, is it in stock? Uh, no, it's not, Michael. It will be very soon, though. Um, Steve Shaw, um, we only got 15 in, first of all. He's sending us some more today or tomorrow, so hopefully Monday or Tuesday we'll have some more in. Uh, but you can go to other shops. I think they do sell it in uh, Magic Box in Newcastle. I think Zane's Magic Shop has one as well, so you can always try them. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry about any magic. Can you show? Uh... So Mark, Mark, this is Mark Jacks, by the way. He says, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, sorry. Can any magic you can show uh, on the live? Sorry about my phone. Yeah, we'll be doing some more magic in a minute, uh, Mark. Uh, so just as soon as I go through these messages, we're going to give some stuff away. We've got some other bits of magic to do as well. Yeah. So Simon, how long can you store a uh, card in sealing wax before? Or you perform in a tin box one hour performance or longer uh, you can store it permanently someone you, you just you keep it in there forever I mean that wax won't go off you know you can put a bit of wax into a little ball put it in your tub and in 50 years time it will still be just as ready to go as it is now the only thing I would say is if you cut your magic kit in your car on a cold day when you bring it in it's going to be really hard at first so put it in your pocket keep it in your pocket for a good half an hour before you use it just to soften it up a bit because uh, literally I've got my case out of my car once and, and done it and it's really hard and it didn't stick for a few goes. So uh, yeah, make sure it is at room temperature at least. Um, Peter Burkett, like it. Uh, Samantha Robinson uh, says, hi Cash. Hi babe. That's his mum. This is no time to be baby. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Sam. That's the other half. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Michael Cooley, yeah. What about hello to us? Why just hello to Cash? Yeah, hey, I mean, come on. Sam Me and Jason and Alex are here. It's all hello, no, Cash. Hello. Hello, Sam. honey. Disgusting. God, what about us? My uh, Michael Cooley, is. Flash One costs $44.99. Uh, $59. We've got it on the website. $49.99. What? We've got it on the website now. What? $49.99? $59.99. Uh, Michael Cooley we had it, we had it as 49 but we've we changed the price oh, because thank you, of Germany. Thank you, that's what we pay for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've got to make some money out of it. No, we sold one. Oh, okay, right. The initial one. Oh, did we? Yes. Oh, Slap the staff. Uh, Charlie Robinson, can you demo Delicious Change? Uh, do we have a demo version open in about anywhere? I don't think we do. We did. Um, um, the person to damn that was Dean when he was here. Yeah. Oh, wait, on, there's one here. Hello, is that open? Is that ready? Oh. Hello. I mean, answer the next question. I'll, I'll get it and have a look. Answer the next question. Okay. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Where have we got to? Uh, can we do under the strains? Mark Paul, just flying. Visit again this week. Thanks so much for sorting my little hand gimmick. Fantastic customer service. Thank you so much. Uh, Danny Marsh, guys, what do you carry on you all the time to perform on the fly if asked? These. Uh, what's that? Rubber bands. Rubber bands. Uh, for me, doing kids' magic, I always have sponge balls in my pocket and a set of uh, D lights because it's just brilliant. It's just yep. really good fun. I've had thirty children pulling at curtains in a church hall because they thought they were magical curtains, and it keeps them entertained while I'm trying to set up. On deck. Uh, yeah. I... Alex, what about Alex. you? I have basically I have ring tight and uh, no bend keys, so I just have my key rings. That's just great. Yeah. Anything you can have, just your key ring. That's that's great, isn't it? And uh, you could always take one of these amazing magic thumbs as well. 
Right, Charlie Robinson has asked if I can uh, demo uh, Delicious Change. I have never done this before, so I'm going to give it my best shot at damming. So uh, here we go. Would you like some chewing gum? Well, yes, please. Somewhere in here. You can get some chewing gum out of there, and you can give, yeah, have some invisible chewing gum. That's right. I haven't got any, but here we go. One, two, whew, three. That is Delicious Change. Delish. There we go. Ta-da. That was all right. Yeah, there we go. That right, so delish. That looked really nice on camera. Yeah. Okay, never done it before. There we go. Right. Uh, Mark Paul. Uh, oh, you've done that. Whenever you just fly with it again. Uh, you're most welcome, Mark Paul. Um, uh, Danny Marsh says, guys, what are you carrying you? Oh, you've already done that. Yeah. You're Nigel Quinn. Have you played with Roddy McGee's Frank and Doe yet? Yeah, I'll do that. Excuse me. <laughs> I do not swing that way. Um, <laughs> have you played with it, Alex? Yeah, I do. So Is that good? Did, if it's the thing that he did on his Penguin Live, yeah. it's what I got you to make a hand for me for many moons ago. Oh, uh, can you... So it's a little, it's a, it's a little mini hand that... Do you, well, don't tell me, tell them. Uh, okay, just, well, just, I don't want to know about it. He's well, not just, got, you've not got your tux well, on right, today. Okay, I haven't yeah, got yeah, yeah. tux on, I haven't so, um, really been down the world. Yeah, basically, working. Nigel says, have we played with it yet? What, what's it like? Is it any good? Yeah, it's really good. It's brilliant. It's a bit of plasticine and um, or some Play-Doh, as he calls it, and a, a little mini hand gimmick. Gets a few giggles, gets laughs, and it's also quite amazing. So it's a signed coin to Play-Doh, and um, yeah, it's gone down really well. Right. You kick Play-Doh in a bit of um, in a little old matchbox, and you're good to go. Okay, well. awesome. Uh, Kevin Croom says, uh, "Where can we get Magic Thumb from?" Magic Thumb. From thumb. thumb. Magic Thumb. Oh, that's what magic Thumb. Do you mean a thumb tip? Oh, uh, Cassie no, no, no. means uh, Cassie's ridiculous magic thumb. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Everyone has two. Right. Okay. Yeah, right. Um, right. That's all the questions caught up with over here. So let's quickly go through. Is there anything over here we need to do? We've done Nigel, haven't we? We've done Nigel Quinn. Yeah, we've done lots of things. Uh, right. Hurt. Is it possible to win a prop dog mug? Says Nigel Quinn. Nigel, uh, we will give you a cup. We will send uh, oh. Nigel a cup. Right there, Dan. We're going to send Nigel a cup because uh, he said some very nice comments and he is desperate for one of our cups. So we're going to give Nigel Quinn a a prop dog mug. We're going to send that to you. Um, so there we go. Um, Adrian Triton, we've already done that one. Uh, <laughs> I've just written Nigel Quinn mug. That's not Nigel Quinn, <laughs> you're a mug. It's not an insult. Like you are that, now Nigel. a mug, Nigel. It's, there it's we go. just for me. Uh, right, and so we pass, pass the Sharpie. So we've done our, our, our on the hum deck, haven't we? Yeah. Um, we've done uh, all Adrian of Triton, the, we've done that one. Done Katie, all the hooks. done that one. Uh, done that one. Peter Burke, have uh, we done this? Uh, Peter Burke. Uh, right, hi guys. Anyone looked into Charlie's fries ripped and fried? It bl it's mind blowing. Uh, so good. We'll be. Uh, I don't know. Like. Not right, heard of it. Peter, I don't know about this if you're watching. We will look into this. Uh, right, um, one of you guys, if you can research this for yep. us and, and get it in the weekend. Yep. Uh, or for next week. Uh, Zach uh, says, uh, what is the best suedo memory trick to sell? Something Rain Man would do. Ooh, memory mm. tricks. Mm. Anything by Harry Lorraine, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, what about, what about Mnemonica? Mnemonica. Well, yeah, any memorized stack really is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and then you've got the old gag, I don't know what it is, you know, the one where you, you show the deck of cards and you tell them what it is and you're really reading the one on the back and then you put it behind your back, you put the back one to the front and read that one, you know that one? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. But yeah, pseudo memory, I don't know any pseudo memory tricks really. Uh, mm. Oh, yes, I do, yeah, there was one, wasn't it? Oh, what was that trick? Yeah, I'm going back years now, just a sudden thing has popped into my head, it's some trick that I looked at once where it makes out you've got a really good memory and you're memorizing everything <coughs> and you haven't. I forgot what it was. I don't know. I'm afraid uh, we'll have to go back to you on that one. Um, yeah, that's it's a tough one. Yeah. I've seen some people do amazing stuff, but I genuinely think that is memory. For, oh, for certain, um, certain Marksman Deck. Marksman Deck, Peter Burke. Yeah, check out Marksman Deck. Brilliant. That is brilliant. Yeah, because apparently you can cut to any card and memorise certain things. Yes, definitely. Well, so yeah, cool. I will go with Peter Burke uh, with, uh, sorry, uh, with that one. Right. No, sorry, not Peter Burke. That was for Zach. So yes, for Zach. Zach Black. Zach all Black. Uh, right, Adam Evans, how safe? Oh, we've done that one already. How safe is Hook? Um, uh, Davis West, have we done that done one? That, yep. Yeah, done that one. Done this one. Done that one. Oh, that's Walter. Uh, oh, that's Walter, uh, yeah. Yeah, Walter's just saying hello. Um, hello, Walter. Hello, Walter. Um, he's assembling his buy list now, uh, that he's, now that he's an older man of 72. He has a fantastic library, which is all over the house. But uh, as in golf, he's still a duffer that loves magic. But not confident to actually perform. Any suggestions on improving confidence, basically? Uh, confidence really only comes with practice um, because we're all worried that we're going to get caught. Okay? Just do it. Just yeah. go and have a go. It's that is... said and done, though, isn't it? The thing is, if you go out and you don't think you're ready and you're going to mess up, then the problem is you're going to be paranoid you're going to mess up and that's going to make you mess up more. Yeah. So to build confidence, you, you've got to build your skill level. So what I used to do when I was very young is I had a jar with 100 marbles, okay, and I had an empty jar. And I would practice a trick in front of a mirror or camera and when I got it right, I put a marble in the jar, okay. 
and basically I would keep doing that until I got it wrong. If I got it wrong, I put all the marbles back in and I start all over again. So basically it worked out, if I'd done a trick 100 times in a row, I knew I was good enough to go out and perform it. And that gave me an enormous amount of confidence because when I went out, I know I got a one in a hundred chance of messing up. I mean, obviously you're going to have a bit of nerves, you're going to have a bit of, um, a bit of the yeah. shakes when you first go out. So when you go out, start off with something you can do very easily that isn't going to involve any dexterity or sleight of hand because you are going to shake and you are going to mess something up. Something like Phil Plus. Start off Phil Plus, great trick, it takes no skill, it's going to blow them away, it's a great opener. Yeah. And once you've done that, you're going to be relaxed and you can go on to something with a bit more sleight of hand. And that, uh, the more you do that, they'll give you confidence. So once you've got one trick, you're confident at doing 100% of the time, just keep doing that and then build up to another one and that'll give you more and more confidence on them more onwards. Another way I used to do this, I don't recommend this for everybody, but it worked for me in my earlier, younger, youthful marine days. Um, I would learn a trick, and then I would go down my local nightclub, uh, once I knew I was competent at doing it, and I would perform while sober to somebody who was drunk. Okay, and uh, I used to have a very close relationship with the, the nightclub. He was, the owner was a best friend of mine, so he used to hang around a lot there, and quite often when we're closed, I'd do magic with people. And yeah, I'd do magic to drunk people. And when I got away with it then, fine, I'd then have a few drunk strings myself and I may have got a little bit drunk once or twice. And then I would perform drunk to somebody who was also drunk. And when I knew I could do that every time with no problems, I would then perform a little bit drunk to somebody who was sober. So if I could perform yeah, completely yeah. okay with somebody who's no, sober when I'm saying. drunk, I would be completely happy to take that in the real world to a pay gig and get on with it. Not the best way to do it, but it kind of worked for me. And yeah, there are. That's fun way of memorising and learning it, right? Yeah, a thing I found, a thing it I gave found me confidence. Really good. It gave me confidence. That was the, thing, thing. the thing I found was really good is I watched lots of the Anthony Jackwin hypnosis stuff when I was a bit younger and I right. wanted to learn it. And his, his thing was it only works if you believe you're the hypnotist. So if you go up to a table and say, Hi, I'm, my name's Jason, I'm a, hip, I'm a hypnotist. They, they will automatically then think you're better than you necessarily are. So I couldn't do that to anyone I knew because they knew that I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. So just going up to a stranger and going, oh, what do you do? Oh, I'm a hypnotist. And straight away, they're, they're on edge. So if you just say to them, I'm a magician, it, you don't have to do anything really impressive. to you know. I've, I, do, I did a double lift for someone the other day and they were like, how the hell have you done that? They so literally just top card and clicked and it changed. And they were, they were blown away by it. It's, you don't have to do lots. I mean, my, it's, it's just a way of building confidence. My opening to a table is, hello everyone, hope you're having a good night. My name is David, I'm your magician for the evening. Are you ready to see a quick bit of magic? Uh, okay, and they go, because they're like, who's this guy? And the moment some magician was like, his magic, it's like, oh, oh, yes, okay. But do you not think saying that, is, and then the more... saying that infuses confidence, doesn't yeah, it? Just, just yeah, saying, yeah. I'm a magician. Yeah. I think it's so, it's so important, and you know, you know, I say, oh, but, but if you're confident when you when you say it and have a big smile, they're going to be a lot more relaxed to you. If you just got somebody and say, um, hi, can I, can I, oh, 100%, yeah, 100%. Um, uh, they're going to eat you alive, so, 100%, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The other way is just, but try, Walter, try. You're, you're yeah. a lot, he's a lovely guy, Walter, isn't he? Well, and he's got plenty, you've got more experience than pretty much <laughs> most people now, I think. So, yeah. your age, um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, should be fine. And he's a lovely bloke, I right. mean. People like Let's do a few of these before they disappear. Yep. Okay, so they're going to disappear fairly soon. Uh, right, where are we at? So last one uh, was good change uh, day from Peter Burke. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Nigel Quinn, afternoon. Alex, see you on Tuesday. Uh, Kevin Crooms, uh, that's it, thanks. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Nigel Quinn, ooh, thanks uh, for the mug. Uh, laugh out loud, I'm a mug. Uh, Brian Robson, memory. Read Darren Brown, Tricks of the Mind. Oh, thank you for the tip, Brian. Yeah, uh, it thanks, has info Brian. there on how to remember a list of unrelated items to your audience. Yeah. Um, oh, that's great. Using yeah. the old memory systems, yeah, about you know, one, run, two. Yeah, two, different rooms right, in yeah, the yeah, house yeah. and all that well, kind that of stuff. That was like 17 years old. I used to blow people away with that. Um, uh, Nigel Quinn says, hello, see you on Tuesday, Alex. Uh, <laughs> Sean Mann, Chris Rawlings does some good memory stuff. Thank you for that, Sean. Um... Uh, Ryan Beck, sheer luck is a good memory demonstration book test. Yeah, this, this is the power of the masses. We're all getting together now. Yeah, I mean, in fairness, um, what's the so Nick, Zach, Einhorn, the Zach, Nick Einhorn app? Uh, Digital Force Bag is, is quite clever. If you pre if you say you've memorised the number, yeah, you know, a hundred yeah, things yeah. on the shopping list and yeah. you've remembered you've remembered what's where. Cheap, uh, cheerful good. memory effect is Bull Garman's mental yarn. There we go. It's all coming out. So I hope you're listening, Zach, because uh, if not, you're missing all this. Uh, Jonas says, um, hang on, move out the way, smiley faces there. Did you find the DVD on Jumbo Card Manip? Cash, did we find it? No, uh, right, we, we have found something. Jumbo manipulation right. cards. Jonas, um, drop me an email. I know we've got something somewhere here. I have seen it, whether we have it in the stock or not. Drop me an email and I will look into it again and I will find it for you uh, and we'll get back to you on that one. 
Uh, but we can't really look any more in the shop at the moment. David Walsh, confidence is either born or bred, practiced and learned, or alcohol fueled. <laughs> Very true. Nigel Quinn, uh, do you stop those uh, fortune telling hands by phantasma magic? Uh, I don't think we do, no. Uh, Charlie Robinson uh, finished uh, my homework so I can watch fully now. Yes! <laughs> Go back over again. Make sure you've got it right, Charlie. Well done, Charlie. Um, magic Stevens, uh, what if the table says, do I want to see any magic? Well, usually it's one person that says they don't want to see any magic. When you've got a table of uh, uh, people, I did this once with Christopher Ecclestone, very famous Doctor Who um, 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 uh, actor, and uh, he was a, a, a huge favourite of mine, a big Doctor Who fan, loved him. Got to the table and uh, I said, hi guys, I'm David, you're a magician, I'm going to show you some magic. And everyone went, yeah, and he said, no. I said, sorry, he said, no, go away, don't want you. I'm, like, well, I'm sorry, yeah, everyone wanted to see some magic. No, not interested, I'm not a child, go away. And everyone else on the table said, but we would like to see some magic. And he said, for God's sake, and he got him stormed off. So I now hate him, but everyone else on the table wanted to see magic. So yeah, it's usually one person. If the whole table sets up in unison and says, no, don't want to see any magic. So fine, no problem, guys, walk away, you know. Yeah, oh, don't, work, don't work hard. You will never get a whole table in unison say that. You may get one or two people on there, and they may say, sorry, guys, I don't want to see any magic. We're, you know, uh, hey, oh, don't get me wrong. If you're in a restaurant and you've got a couple and they're all like this with each other and he's got a ring in his hand or something proposing, they may not want to see magic. Don't, don't interrupt. But if, yeah, if you're in a restaurant and there's only two people and they say, do you want to see any magic? Say, oh, no problem, guys. Have a good night. Nice to meet you Enjoy all. Enjoy your meal. Go on somewhere. Go to the table next door and make them scream. A few times I've done this in the past. I've gone to another table and, and you know I've gone across and done some stuff. And I've just done stuff that reacts, reacts really well. And um, before you know it, the table who didn't want to see it are, are, are kind of looking across and afterwards, say, okay, well, we'll see something quickly. 10 minutes later, you've won them over. A lot of people will assume that you're some Uncle Fred children's magician who's going to do something like cash and, and, and do that. But um, yeah. I mean, so, you've, you've but, sort of slagged us both off there. Yeah. Uncle yeah. Fred children's magician. No, you know what I mean. You know, the, the, the old guy wow. in the 70s or, yeah, or whatever, what just somebody, who, they, they've, seen some, they've seen somebody in their family who thinks they're a magician. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, right, who okay, thinks they're I've a magician. You. They do I've something diabolical yeah. well, and they think lucky. you're going to be like that. They don't know you're a good magician and, and studied what you do. I with you with that I'll disappear on that. So I'm leaving. Yeah, if somebody genuinely doesn't want to see it and there's only a small group of people, just say, no problem, guys, and just just so you know have a good night and walk away just but yeah happy, if you're yeah. a normal table with 10 people on it it's very rare everyone will just just if somebody says they don't want to see it so oh, well, i'm sorry you don't want to see any magic would anyone else like to see any um you know uh, and if everyone does well you know would you mind just if i show these guys something and then i'll leave you be by the time you've done your stuff guaranteed he's going to want to say more anyway and everyone else is one going to see what see more if uh, if you do that and you show your best trick and you say, right, guys, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your trick. I will show you some more, but obviously that arsehole over there doesn't want you to see any more, so I'll Who leave you there. It? They're all going to have a go at him. Who was so, it the other day? The Who was it the other day? Somebody was in the other day, and, so, and I think Cash may asked them what they do for close-up if someone... So, similar to this question, they said he just carries a book in his pocket, and he goes, I don't want to see any magic, and he goes, here, read this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I can't, can't remember who it was, was, but it just went, yeah, you read, read this then. Huh. And then it <laughs> just does it for everybody else. But anyway, uh, that's my answer, Maddie. Really there we go. So Theo says, uh, question, uh, why was the prostitute magician so popular? Because she always had a few good tricks. Oh, hey. God, here we go again. Did you hear about the gay magician? Oh, no. He disappeared with a puff. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that on cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be a hit amongst my game uh, Gray Graham says, uh, I got a whom from yesterday. So good. Oh, thank you, Graham. There we are. So whoever's watching, who, I can't remember who it was. I wanted to know about it. It was uh, um, uh, Otto, wasn't it? <laughs> so there, what? I think, I think the punchline to that joke, I don't know if I should say this. I think the punchline is he disappeared in a puff. No, nah, with a puff sounds a little... Whichever one you want to use. Just be with a puff. I like that one. Yeah, that's my... my that's not a homophobic joke, but I'm not homophobic. That's I just, love a, my just house. a funny line. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, Jake Allen. Chris oh. Wood has some great remembering stuff. Uh, remembering... Sorry, yeah, has some great stuff and remembering a deck of cards. Thank you for that, uh, Jake. Uh, Robert Van Muren, this is the best live on Facebook. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Thanks, Robert. We do talk some crap sometimes, though. Oh, uh, Brian Robson, how about any... How, how many... <laughs> uh, this is another joke. This is another, this is another <laughs> Brian Robson joke. Are you ready? Here we go. How many grammar Nazis does it take to change a light bulb? Two. T double O. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah thank you. Really legendary. Me right, okay, let's get on. I'll be done all these now. We, I was a teacher, uh, I can't help it. Right. Uh, Ian Smith says Hi, guys, is it possible to purchase replacement gimmick cards for Richard Sanders' ace? Unfortunately, not, Ian. They don't sell the ungimmick cards. You just got to buy them as they are or buy the whole pack. Uh, speaking of ace, somebody wants to see some magic? I think it's time that Cash did some magic. Is it? 
Welcome to the stage, right. the one, the only, it's Cash Magic! I believe it. I believe it. Ooh. You have the stage. I it's all have yours. the stage, yeah. children, right. We're going home. See you later. Close down um, the show. Bye bye. Um, not sure how we're doing this. Alex! Yes. Have you seen Ace before? I have. You have? Who hasn't seen Ace? We've all seen Ace. Jace hasn't seen Ace. Oh, Jace I, the Ace. I've seen it. Just do it. Just, just do it for the. Oh, do you need oh, a oh, 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 oh. hand? Do you need my hands, don't you? Oh, I, I, I could do it with that. I could do it on the table. That's fine. No problem. So, uh, Alex, do you perform it? I'm not sure if the camera can see me or not, no, but we've no, got no, one. No, you see on there. Oh, yeah, I'll wait. I'll There's wait. a time delay. There's a little bit of time. Yeah, delay. you're good. That's I'll tell fine. you what, let's bring the camera in close. Let me just uh, bring this up a little bit. Hi, peeps. I'm not crazy. I'm warming up. Cash, we're zoomed in on your nipples right now. Right, go for it. You're gonna do it on the, on the mat or on your hands? Uh, I'll be using both. So okay, I'll be no problem at all. Yeah. So yeah. we've got one, two. You're right, Jace. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Four cards, mm -hmm. and it's quite simple. You see, all I'm gonna use is jokers. Nothing more, nothing less. One joker there for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One joker there for you. Yeah. I'll leave them there. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Fair. Easy enough as that. I'm trying to watch myself on the camera at the same time. Don't sure watch yourself on the camera. 20, just like 20 seconds behind. 20 seconds yeah. behind. Right, what I'm going to use is my two jokers. Yeah. Hang on, I'm just going to take off the tripod because off this, the is this is easy manually. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right. Okay. I'm going to use my two jokers to do something amazing. Now, what would happen if I could take my two jokers, give them a rub on yours, and make your two cards change? That would be pretty cool, right? Mm. Pretty what if cool. I could do something better and not just make my two change, but also... Ooh! Oh well, yes, and that is Ace by Richard Sanders. Well done, Cash. Well done, Cash. Love it. Right. Good effort. Buy it. <laughs> Buy it now. No full sales. Um, guys, amazing trick. I. How long did it take you to learn? Like literally, I just a couple of minutes. I mean, the video. Look, I sat look, there. Do you look at the camera. That's why I'm just putting the camera back on the tripod. <laughs> so you're on camera. Probably for a second. Talk. Uh, Talk. Right, um, amazing right. trick. Took there me a few minutes to sit down and learn it. I just showed you the basic routine. Um, I don't want to, you know, do too much on camera for you guys. I don't want to show off. Of course, I'm amazing. I know. Um, shush. <laughs> but yeah, amazing trick. I don't really tend. I tend to stay away from packet tricks. But this is something that's definitely going in my my my, my repertoire now. Um, I don't think you'll get this one back, boss. So we've only got one in stock at the moment. We'll try and look to get some more for you guys. I love it. It's amazing. Four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine more tricks to learn, and uh, you'll learn them all uh, over the next uh, couple of years. Gen okay. But generally, how easy is it to do? Super easy. Like I said, I'm relatively new to magic and I find it so easy to handle. I mean, it's four cards. Yeah, okay. Yep. I just, we get a lot of people in here, beginner magic, literally, who've never done anything before. Would, I you, mean, would you recommend it to them? I would recommend that for a beginner, um, even if you're just looking for a quick packet trick. Yes, definitely beginners. Even if you are experienced, that is an effect and a half. Yes. It's great. I mean, I, I, I think I prefer double back. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much more... Uh, I don't know how much more there is to performing double back. I think there's more of a count at some point, isn't there, for double back? No. I don't it's know. kind of like NFW as well, isn't it? NFW, yeah. do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a variation of, really, so yeah. Oh, we've got the old huh? chap slick as well. Uh, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, are, you gonna, a... are you gonna do this as well? I'm currently doing it. Right, okay, so uh, last week we had a, a question about, what's the trick called? Chap slick. Chap slick. Chap slick. And uh, I, I said again, this is another one that Cash is gonna take home and learn, so you've done that. And uh, how many effects do you get with this? You get a lot. so much magic in this one little bag. Right. I mean, I'm gonna go through what they call, uh, well, this, this is the first thing that they teach you on the DVD. Okay. There are so many different well, effects. Let me get the camera back off the tripod then and we can do some more. How many things are you gonna do now? I'll, I'll run through this basic okay, routine. It's right. quite easy. I mean, first of all. Okay, go for it. Well, more yeah. slips, I mean. For... This Cap is what people are uh, watching for. To this see is what magic, people so are watching for, for, just for that yes. little bit of uh, magic moments there like that. Ooh. I mean, you can actually just take the cap off and actually wipe your... Cap's coming back from everywhere, Jason. It's absolutely crazy. So excuse me a moment, kids. Um, the cap is very tricky. It actually gets to a point where you're just standing... Yeah, good. I'm starting to give up on this. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. Right. So many different little effects you get with it. That was just one of the basic routines that they teach you straight away. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but you get so much in this one little bag. You get stuff like color changes. Um, also, it's growing, uh, growing and shrinking routines. Uh, predictions. You get predictions on it as well. It is insane for what they give you. Great trick if you carry around chapstick and like moistening your lips anyways. Perfect. They even give you a few extra little bits to, if you don't use chapstick exactly, you can 
um, mess change around with. Yeah, you could change a uh, uh, change a gimmick for yeah. another one, another brand. So it's amazing for what you get in there. I have had a few people say it's not something I do in public. I do it in public. I would happily go up to someone and just start flashing that about for fun because there is a routine that they teach you where you can actually use. Uh, you can show them the full chapstick as well. Yeah, and I they, mean, I, it's I, insane for what you're getting. I love it. It's. I'm not a big fan personally, but I, I can see. You can, I can see, see why I like it. <laughs> on, I can see for people on Instagram again. It's good, good silver screen stuff. I don't know how it looked on the camera because I'm standing here, but did it look okay? Oh, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. It's, they're, they're quite small. than like that visual. I think it's more of a you have to be here with somebody. And, they look good from where I was standing. Do a bit of a kind of Greg Wilson, you know, a bit of all over the place. Yeah, and, and a bit like jazz, uh, jazz it a bit, you know. A, a bit, bit like Matt. That's good. Yeah, a bit like Matt's. Um, what was the sharpie called? Sharp turn, you know, with the lid bouncing on and off and, and all that kind of stuff. I know where it's gone. It's been sucked into the pen. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Right. Excuse me. I'll just uh, good stuff. Stretch that back out again for you. Well done. That's all right. Yeah, right. That'll yeah. do. That'll do. Okay. Where You're are asked, we? And we provided. We're going to give some stuff away in a second. So let's. Uh, Yay. Let's cash. Catch up we some give questions. Uh, we're getting away. on a bit now, time-wise. So uh, guys, no more questions <coughs> for now. For the for the time being, let's just catch up with um, questions on here, and and we'll give a few things away, and then uh, have we got another trick? We've got some more magic to show, and um, yeah. And then we'll call it a day. So, uh, how many gram? Oh, we've done that one already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, uh, Adam Wade of Evans. Got I rushed. I got rushed to hospital the other day. There was nothing wrong with me. It was just. Uh, sorry, I've got, these emojis keep popping up. Just in case. Ooh, Ooh, there we go. A bit broken. Uh, I got rushed to hospital the other day. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with me. I just got my coat caught in Abu Lance doors. Yep. Um, lost me. Ambulance uh, Abulance. Oh, he got rushed to hospital because he got oh, his coat caught in the ambulance doors. So he got literally rushed, as in dragged behind the ambulance. Yeah, what's Abu? Abu Lance. Ambulance is what he's trying to write. Oh, right, okay. Uh, oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, right, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going through like the news stories I read in the news. Yeah. Abu Lance. Is there anyone something called Abu Lance? Sorry, you Adam. Joke? Your fault, mate. You should have. You Check Come your spelling on, before you post a joke. So, right. Adam, how many grammar Nazis does it take to correct a post? Yeah, we'll check our prices. You Simon Keane says, if you're going to give away some magic, please don't let me win anything from Sans Mines. Don't worry, I won't. Uh, right, David Walsh, how many blondes does it take to change a light bulb? One, she just holds it and the rest of the world revolves around her. I take issue with that. <laughs> Try DMC's <laughs> version of Ace by Richard Sands. It's simply stunning. Uh, Mark Paul, Ace looks similar to NFW. That's what I said, yeah. David Walsh, revolves. He means uh, revolves. Yeah, not resolves. Revolves. How many magicians does it take to pay, uh, screw in a light bulb? Three. One to screw in the light bulb, a second one to go, I know how you did that, and the third one to market the effect. Yeah. Terrible jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Prop Dog Live should be on either longer or twice a week. It's great entertainment. Thank you, Andy. Right, okay. Um, are we going to show another trick? Longer would kill me. Um, I don't know if we've got, got much more to do today. Well, let's give some stuff away. Let's give some, give some stuff, stuff away. Okay, right. So um, I've just been going through some stuff. I'm going to give some stuff away. Uh, let's have a look what we've got over here. Some stuff I'm not going to use. Uh, got that, got that, uh, got that. It's, yeah. it's, it's not a huge giveaway as, as such. We've just got some stuff. Right. So some stuff I'm not going to... So it's, it's nothing big deal, right? So for example, right, here is a, a, a silk I had printed, right? It's one of our uh, A3 silks. But... The printing has just kind of cut off the end over there. Now these are quite expensive normally, but I can't sell these. Does anyone want this? I have two jack of hearts. If anyone wants those, we'll send them to you free of charge. If you can make use of them, I'd rather that than me throw them away. So if you want one of those, the first two people to say yes, I'll send them to you. Uh, right, here's something else uh, we're gonna and, give away. Oh, don't just, please, don't just write yes. <laughs> write yes and what you're asking for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would <laughs> help. Yeah, 50 right. people writing yes. Yeah. Okay, right. So, um, I've got these. Uh, we're playing around with... Uh, we're we're going to try and release a uh, one-way force die that is basically inflatable giant dice you can throw around the room. But we had to buy some prototypes. I have here some inflatable dice. We've got four dice. If anyone wants them, let us know. Just say yes, please, on the dice. We'll send them to you. We've got to say dice, you know. Because I never say die. Oh, it's going to take too long to blow up. Yeah, they're, they're about this big. They're just inflatable dice. I've got four, five of those. If anyone would like them, just say yes, please, on the dice. We'll do that. Yes, please, okay. on the dice. Right. The dice are right. 
We have a load of confident deceptions in stock. We had a load from some time ago, okay? There's volumes one, two, three, and four here as a whole set. Uh, they're on the website. There's some really good stuff on here, but they don't sell for some reason. He's so I'm gonna give this away. This is uh, Jason uh, Ladane. Okay. Really good magician, great stuff, great material on that. That's worth a fair bit of money. I'm gonna give that away to somebody. Um... Yes, that's a great idea. Right. I have a playing card here. I have no idea what this playing card is, okay? But the nearest value, or the first person to say the exact value, or the nearest, uh, in the next... Uh, well, let's, re let's reveal the card at the end. Okay, think? okay, right. We're, we're, we're going to do this one, right? So this card here, just say the card you want, and then put Confident Deceptions for that one, okay? And whoever gets the nearest to that is going to win that one. Okay, good idea. Okay, Restless. Restless by Dan House. Okay, again, we got a load of these in because these are brilliant. They're really, really good. Volumes one, two, and three. We got a load of them in um, because we thought they sell well, and, and they don't sell very well. I don't know why. But the, um, Dan House did a lot of the work with David Blaine on his original series, and there's some great material on here. So I have. Uh, I'm going to give away one, two, three, four, four volumes, four copies of volume three. Uh, I'm going to give. I got, a, I got a volume two there. I'm going to see if I've got any more volume twos. Uh, Crikey, volume he two cannot was. sleep, can he? He is restless. Uh, uh, wow, this is this is I'm great. Gonna give, I'm going to give away. Um, I'm going to give away uh, right four copies of each of these. Okay, and uh, what should we do? Let's just do the card thing again. Right. Yeah, okay. So right, right. Okay. Yeah, the card like thing. Right. Card thing. Card thing's fun. Right. So some more cards over here. Right. So if you're interested in volume two of Restless, okay, I'm going to put one card there. I'm going to put one card there. One card there and one card on there. So say volume two, Restless, and name a card. Again, the closest people to each of them will get one of those. And the same with volume three. If you want volume three, put volume three. And I'm going to one, two, three. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm seeing what that one is. Sorry, that one over there. Shall we keep it this way? As in, whatever card they, they, they mention, if it just happens to be on the DVD, we'll give it to them. Well, right, uh, basically, basically, I'm going to do the four nearest ones to each one. So uh, Restless volume, uh, this one here. So volume two, uh, someone's going to name a card, and basically the nearest to each card, I'm going to give away. It, right. It'll make sense That's afterwards. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. We, I mean, I would do all kinds of competitions and guess numbers, but we haven't got time for that. And if I just say who wants it, everyone's going to say yes, yes. and then, it's yeah, it's a bit of a pain. So what else can we give away? Uh, what have we got? Uh, some stuff. I'm going to give away a mini magician to somebody. Oh. Okay. Um, Love the it. The first person, oh, I'll tell you what. The person who names the town nearest to where I'm born. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I'm born in a town somewhere in the UK, and whoever whoever names the town closest to that by the end of the show is going to win a mini magician. What else can we give away? I don't even know that. Uh, let's do one of Nick Einhorn's money decks. Okay. Oh, this um, is great. Look at this. Right. Okay. Uh, Nick Einhorn's money deck. Uh, I tell you what. How much money does Dave uh, have in his pocket? I'm going to write a three-digit number. Whoever gets closest to that three-digit number, okay, is going to win the money deck. So write down the name money deck. And right, uh, give me a three-digit number. Whoever's closest to that is going to win it. And I'm going to go with um, it's a three-digit number. Ooh. There you go. Right. So I've got a three-digit number on there, and that's very, going to go on the, on the bottom of money deck. Very Halloweeny. On the bottom of money deck over there. Right. Okay. So that's that. That's uh, no mini magician given away. That's for the uh, confident exceptions, isn't it? What else can we give away? Got anything over there? Uh, uh, not. I'm going to give her away an Andy Nyman uh, yep. Evil. Just reviewed on Wizard Product Review. Uh, and I'm going to give a date between the 1st of January this year and today. So whoever guesses the nearest date to that is going to win. So you're going to write the Evil <coughs> and the nearest date. So let's say... Um, what's popping up on there? There you go. Right, okay. So that'd be enough. We'll give away some more stuff next week. Right, okay. So, let's see what's going on on here. And then... Um, just a bunch of people shouting random cards now. Yeah, right. So there's I a whole load of people... My abilities at the moment. Siri says that's beyond his abilities at the moment. Right, so... Uh, ah, we've got a real problem here. Now, the problem we've got now is everything's scrolling up really fast. Ooh, and I can't, I can't scroll down to find out where everything is. Now, this is a, this is a problem. Right, so... Right. I need to I need to work out the way around this, right? Because everyone's working out what these are. 
Now I can't see all these because they're scrolling up too fast. We'll be able to see them after the after the, uh, we'll the have show. To do it. We'll have to do it afterwards. Right. So what we'll do? We'll reveal them at the end. Yeah. What we're going to do then? We're going to finish the show now. Okay. We're going to quickly go through the answers and then we're going to go live again in a couple of minutes. Okay. Work out who's won what. Okay. And then we'll announce it then. So uh, let's give it ten minutes. To, to allow us to work out who's won what, and then we'll go live again, and we'll we'll do another one to say who's going to win what. Does that make sense? Yeah. That fair? Yeah. Okay. And then if there's any more questions asked, we're going to do that. So it's 12 by, well, it's that good timing now anyway. Right, so if you are going to go, if you didn't want any of these, then um, uh, have a great weekend. Don't forget the World Cup tomorrow. Uh, go England. Uh, well, yes. That is, if you're not interested. Oh, we had a question about uh, NF uh, NFL. Oh, did we? Uh, yeah, funnily oh. enough, I know it's different. Gentlemen, when we send NFL games over to the UK, is it a big deal for us? Uh, yeah. Is it? I get a, no. I get no, a, my cousin watches rugby, he loves the NFL. I'm not bothered. I, I, I've never watched the NFL, to be honest. Uh, well, well cut, whenever I'm in the well States, I love watching uh, American football when I'm in the States, but over here... I, I, they I, do I, the big things at Wembley, don't they, yeah. for NFL? Yeah, I've that. never watched it, yeah, mm. no. For me, uh, Grand Prix, definitely, and rugby. So, uh, Come on, England. It. Right, so guys, um, uh, if you are going away, have a great weekend. Uh, if you're going to hang around for the live, give me, give us 10 minutes to work out who's won what, and we'll get back to you, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? So, uh, right, oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, that's the best way of doing it. Yeah, right. I'll see you in a minute, guys. So, uh, Bye, catch you in a press stop. One, two, three.